Edgeots, welcome back. Day 118 of the racing marathon. Tonight with Tokyo Extreme Racer. Tokyo's back in chaos. Ooh. Izuzu. The fuck is that, <laughs> that brand? <laughs> so, Corolla, Treno. I don't know what a Mark II is. <laughs> Can I buy this as my starter car? Looks like a good license plate. <laughs> the fuck do I care? <laughs> okay, let's go to Tokyo. It is the Tokyo Extreme Racer after all. Alright, so that's my rival. I think the super... Wait, do I have to... Do I have to start the duel against him somehow? Flash your lights. Yeah, I'm not sure which button that was. Rolling guy number four. AI yeah, sucks at cornering, use that to the advantage. Alright. I don't need to challenge him again because he's green, right? So I just try further and look for the next one. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't really know where I was supposed to go next. I kind of like this. First of all, you don't really get to drive on tracks like this too much. Maybe if you play Gran Turismo. But I, I like the realistic setting, right? You just find some dude on the, on the road and you challenge him. There's no indicator for my worn down tires, right? Honestly, I feel like a game like this could be really fun if they make it again, like with tire wear, fuel, temperature, you know, like make it make it feel like a real car that needs maintenance. And I feel like this could be really fun as a modern game. Just for novelty. Getting some breaks. <laughs> that hole. <laughs> <laughs> that hole in the hood saves me four kilos, hell yeah. Oh, we can save even more. Fuck, carbon is expensive. Mirrors, can I really save any weight with this? No. Oh man, carbon mirrors actually save weight. A <laughs> kilo. Ooh, I kinda wanna re-spoil it though. Off saves a lot of weight, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna need the aerodynamics, right? Just spend a lot of money on a carbon spoiler, but I think it fits the car. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I kind of like the progression in this game. Like, you have your car, you upgrade it part by part. It reminds me a lot of the Need for Speed series, you know? You just pick your car, you upgrade it, and you beat the opponents. And everything being a one-on-one -on -one is actually kind of fun. Honestly, this is fun. You know, it might be... It's, it's, it's therapeutic. It's therapeutic you're racing on these, on these tracks. It's weird, it's a weird type of game, but kind of, I like it. A racing marathon is all about discovering new games. I think it's generally pretty cool to, wow, that was rubber band, to experience different games, to see some game elements, you know, that might be relevant. If I ever get to advice on a new racing game, having some knowledge in a bunch of racing genres, you know, you might learn something. Hey guys, Akuru here. Check out Instant Gaming for cheap game keys and click the link in the description below. <laughs> yeah, I saw his health bar. I saw that health bar hit on him so hard. So you can cheese a little bit too if you put them into the wall. Honestly, I didn't expect this game to be this good or, you know, to my liking. It looked fairly simple, but honestly, the gameplay is satisfying. It is slower progression, but if you do get the progression, it actually feels quite satisfying. Because you worked for it so much. I always say that, you know, grinding is only fun if the grinding itself is fun. And I feel like in this game it's well done. The high grip tire was made with sports driving in mind. It is rather expensive. I feel like I'm changing to the HGs. But yeah, the car is getting substantially faster already. Just because we have those grippy tires. It becomes very noticeable how much faster you can do corners. That's a funny thing, since you like grind so long for like a few upgrades, you really notice it when you upgrade your car just a little bit. It becomes very... well, you notice it when you upgrade your car, which is good. If you have any hidden knowledge, feel free to share it with me. I'm playing the game for the first time, so if you know something cool, let me know. I just want to spawn here because there's two, two more blue races. Oh, it's raining now. And I have the grip tires. Wait, where is he? Oh my god. I did very much underestimate the rain and how much it's gonna affect my my handling. How much is the MR2? 38k. I think I like it right the most. But see how this car drives with like complete stock stock equipment.
<laughs> oh, that helps. Oh, come on. Can you explain to me what Wanderers are? Are they so rare that you really want to beat them on the first try? Or what? What is the what is the story here? They're teamless rivals. Yeah, and also now you get a lot of cash from beating them. They get requirements too. But yeah, I heard sometimes you need to have a certain amount of cash. You can buy a muffler for five more horsepower. Better cooling? Sure. Instead of selling my car, I keep the car. But I get myself some, uh, get myself some money. How about that? Yeah, that worked. Cool. So now I don't have to sell my car. <laughs> you cheated on a Tony the game, but you are self. You didn't grow. You didn't improve. You took a shortcut and gained nothing. You experienced a hollow victory. Nothing was risked and nothing was gained. It's sad that you don't know the difference. So, at which temperature is the car gonna scream? Let's see what happens to the car if we keep going here. Water usually doesn't like to go about a hundred, above a hundred. That makes sense, but the oil should. <laughs> it makes a lot of sense. Your water temperature should not be at a hundred degrees Celsius, or you can have a lot of pressure in your pipes. That's why that's kind of interesting because I don't think I've seen anything like it in any other game. Oh, now the water temperature has reached hundred. Oh, there's the smoke because we're overheating. <laughs> 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 Man, if he evaded me, I would have, I would have lost. And there's a lot of stuff to do. Holy shit, there's a livery ed editor in the game. Oh shit, that's a free win. <laughs> he just messed up really badly. Can't even decline him. <laughs> Are we getting another free win? Whoa, he's already back. What the fucking acceleration is that? He just hit the wall, man, and he's already back. 100,000 CP special bonus. Poggers. The defeat of Dejected Angel. Tokyo is plunged into further and wider chaos. Engine level 4. Mission level 2. What is mission? Don't tell me that's the transmission. <laughs> mission 2. Uh, you guys want Nagoya or Osaka? Osaka equals corners, Nagoya is straight. Well then I guess Osaka makes more sense. It being underrated, I mean it makes sense. I haven't even played this until today, this was my first time. I'm actually pretty fine with the overheat mechanic because otherwise the game would feel more empty. I think that was a good addition just to keep the game a bit more interesting. <laughs> no loser. That is one of the ugliest liveries I've ever seen in my life. The only thing that's kind of problematic in this game, um, the drawing distance is not far enough to even see what's coming up. Like, even when it's not raining, in my opinion, the drawing distance could be further. But I guess that is where they run into technical limits of the console. Yeah, as I said, I'm gonna be fuck. <laughs> ah, there's the mad terrorist. It's not just a mad, it's just not, it's not, it's not just a terrorist, it's a mad terrorist. The thirst in the winner's heart pursues energy for what would be the next stage. That was fun though. I played this a lot longer than I thought I would. I thought after a few hours I would just, you know, be done with the experience, but no, I liked it and I played more. That was good. So everyone, thank you so much for watching, sleep tight, definitely come back tomorrow and... Good night.